are you do you agree with this article and, and the studies and stuff that they found? Well, I think what because it sounds like you're going like you're on the fence and then you're off the fence and then you're on you're you know. But I mean, it sounds like okay, I see what they're saying in the article, but yet it doesn't really apply itself in the real well, world. It, it does. It okay. does. Um, but we get we get there a different way. I mean, I, I see a horse come into the barn or hear a horse move or look at wear patterns or look at, you know, is the shoulder locked up? Is, you know, is the back lifted? Where are they weak? That sort of deal is how, how I come to a lot of conclusions. But, I mean, in the real world, this is, this, this is part of the deal. The problem is, is, you know, if you wanted to take your horse up to New Bolton and use the pressure plates, or or you know Cornell or anybody you want to take it to, Texas A and M, and uh, but you know there's a lot of technology, but out in the field we've got to work off of what we got out in the field. Does this technology scare you, Mike? Every technology scares me. <laughs> there's so many variables to pin down. I don't know that there's ever any possible way to get anything exact. We can get them in a good ballpark, but I think the conclusion of it is. You know, m most horses like a little bit of a little bit of breakover modification.